Now dear student, we are going to discuss question number 9.13 and in this question it is given to you what is the density of water at a depth where pressure is 80 atm given that its density at the surface is 1.03 into 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube clear so now concentrate yes in this question uh, our objective here is to calculate density of water at a depth where pressure is 80 atm clear so can we find let's suppose uh, this is we can say let's suppose this is surface of a water clear and let's suppose we are talking about at this point clear it means we can say at this point pressure let's suppose this is p1 it is given to you 80 atm clear and we know here we are having uh, we can say that is one atmosphere clear yes or no because this is a surface of a water and definitely pressure atmosphere is exerting a particular pressure on this surface clear so what is density of a water at a depth clear so density we have to find pressure is given so can we calculate first here change in pressure change in pressure we can say 80 minus 1 and we can say this is atm clear from here you can say this is 79 atm clear to you so now we can write like this delta p this is given by 79 multiply 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square this is given to you clear so delta p value is this one okay fine now it is also given uh, yes now can we calculate here change in vol uh, fractional change in volume delta v by v yes we can write like this this is v minus v dash over v initial volume minus final volume upon initial volume clear we can also write like this this is mass upon density rho mass upon density rho dish over mass upon density rho dish clear so we can say this rho dish is a density at this point clear at this point we have here this density that is rho dish and let's suppose here we have rho clear so now from here we can write like this this is 1 minus uh, this is actually rho clear yes so here we have a row so we can write like this this is row by row dish clear now actually we know if we are talking about compressibility of water compressibility of water now compressibility of water it is represented by k clear and this value is given to you here we have a particular value of compressibility this is 45.8 into 10 to the power minus 11 clear this is a value of compressibility clear or we can say its unit is pascal inverse clear so now actually we also know bulk modulus clear so bulk modulus this is given by change in pressure over fractional change in volume clear so from here we can also calculate fractional change in volume like this this is change in pressure divided by bulk modulus clear so fractional change in volume we can say this is given by change in uh, pressure change in pressure means this value we have 79 into 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 and divided by beta clear now we know 1 by beta 1 by beta this is equal to compressibility clear so now we can multiply it with 79 into 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 multiply it with we can say 45.8 into 10 to the power minus 11 clear so from here you can see fractional change in volume clear so fractional change in volume this value is given by 3.66 3.66 into 10 to the power 3.66 into 10 to the power we can say 3 clear to you 3.66 into 10 to the power 3 clear and this is the value for fractional change in volume and this is a value clear now we can actually see this fractional change in volume this is equal to 1 minus rho by rho dish yes or no yes so from here we can see now from here we can see yes from here we can see we can write like this 1 minus rho dish by rho this is equal to 3.66 into 10 to the power minus 3 clear so from here you can write like this rho dash by rho this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.00366 clear so now it is also given density at a surface we have 1.03 into 10 to the power 3 
clear so now we can write like this yes so from here we can say we can write like this rho dash this is equal to rho 1 minus 0 0.00366 clear now value of rho at a surface this is given to you 1.03 into 10 to the power 3 clear and we can say this is 1 minus 0 0.00366 clear so uh, if you calculate directly we can say approximately I am taking it 1 clear approximately I am taking it 1 why because this value is very very small compared to this one clear so from here we can say that we are getting this value this is density kilogram per meter cube clear to everyone clear and if you actually calculate if you actually calculate you will find here 1.0 uh, this is 1.034 clear 1.034 into 10 to the power and we can say this is 3 so uh, approximately we can say we are getting same value clear to everyone so no so free we can say uh, approximately there is a very less change in a uh, density that we will find at a depth uh, compared to the surface of water clear so this is all about this question clear to everyone